It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl, the first of two semifinal games to determine the two finalists for this year's elementary championship. Let's meet the teams first from Berwyn Heights Elementary. Would you please say hello to our first competitor, Sean Mipagala. Next contestant, Megan Conover and Saul Angel Senzano. And from Northview Elementary, our players today are Isaiah Harrison, Carlos Rahino, and Talon Hall. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the question, with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, we will have the first of our two finalists in this year's competition. We have a lot at stake. These are very talented young people. Hopefully, you've seen them earlier in the season. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Megan, would you try your buzzer, please? All right, the red team looks like it's ready and raring to go. Megan Solangel and Sean, good luck to you. And Northview, the gentleman over there in the matching lab coats. Try yours, Carlos. All right, he's got that smile on his face. He's got that killer instinct, though. He's a good player, too. Carlos Talon and Isaiah. All right, so glad to have you all back. It's been a long season. The best of luck to you no matter what happens today. You are winners in my eyes and certainly in those of the viewers. We go alphabetically B before N, so Berwyn Heights, let's start the bowl. Megan, give me a category and a number, please. Body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points. Teams, what body part is said to get caught in the cookie jar if you're caught doing something you shouldn't? Berwyn Heights. Hand. Your hand. You got your hand caught in the cookie jar. Oh, I can't get it out. Just let go of the cookie. Go red. Zoo prayed for five, please. Zoo prayed for five points. Teams, animals at the opposite ends of the temperament scale, if you will, are often invoked to describe the month of March, which is said to come in like a lion and go out like a what? Berwyn Heights? Lamb. A lamb. In like a lion and out like a lamb. Doesn't always work out that way. Go red. Green things for five, please. Green things for five points. Teams, environmental activists that are always upset when, tree, when forests are cut down are said to be huggers of these. Northview? Tree huggers. Tree huggers? Tree huggers, that's what, exactly what. I almost gave that answer away when I was asking the question. Good comeback there, Northview. You're on the board. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams in astronomy, the big bright stars are called giants, but the smaller, duller stars are called what, Northview? Dwarfs. Dwarfs, that's right. You have white dwarfs, red giants. Go, green. Let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, in the stratosphere, this gas can destroy the ozone, but down here on Earth, that same gas can help us Berwyn Heights. Oxygen. Not oxygen. Northview, in the stratosphere, this gas can destroy the ozone. But down here on Earth, that same gas can help us to disinfect swimming pools. Uh, chlorine? Chlorine is the answer. Yes, indeed. Good comeback there. Go, green. Uh, body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, multiple choice question. If you're suffering from odontalgia, Odontalgia. You're in a lot of pain. Would you head to the eye doctor, the foot doctor, or the dentist? Northview. Dentist. Dentist. Odontalgia means toothache. D-O-N-T. Your prefix signifying teeth. Green. 
Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, audiologists cheered all over America when the Super Bowl was over this year because quarterback Drew Brees put these on the head of his young son. Berwyn Heights. Horns. What are they? Horns. Horns? Not horns. No, Northview audiologists cheered when quarterback Brees put these on his young son's head at the end of the Super Bowl. Uh, Helmet? Earmuffs, earmuffs. Audiologists are ear specialists because the noise was so loud he was trying to protect his, the young ears there from any kind of damage. Try again, green. Uh, green things for 10, please. Green things for 10 points. Teams, what same word means an herb used for tea and the place where the U.S. government makes money? Bourbon Heights. Mint. Mint is right. Good. Red. Zoo prayed for 10, please. Zoo prayed for 10 points. Teams, if the workers in a beehive feed royal jelly to the larvae, those larvae will grow up to become these. Berwyn Heights. Queens. Queens, that's right. Queens for more than a day. Good. Red. 80 for Berwyn Heights. 90 for North U Advantage. Megan. Let's get physical for five, please. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, down in Latin America, there is a reptile called the Jesus Lizard. Yes, indeed. It can walk on water. Northview? Um, what did Sorry. Um, um, uh, 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 let me finish for Berwyn Heights. The Jesus Lizard, that's what they call it down in Central America, can literally walk on water because water has a lot of surface what? Tension. Tension, surface tension, absolutely right. And it literally runs across almost like a water strider, like a spider that can do the same thing. All right, almost a tie score, red again. Nice, Popery for five, please. Popery for five points. Teams, drivers all over Washington are cursing because after the snows of this winter, the road surface is expanding and contracting and making a lot of these craters. Northview. Potholes. Potholes, that's right, the bane of drivers today. Good, green. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for? 20. 20 points. Teams, a multiple choice question. Not all penguins, apparently, are dressed in tuxedos. They recently found an all black penguin. Was that black penguin albinistic, opportunistic, or melanistic? North you. Melanistic. Melanistic, absolutely right. Melanin meaning the pigment that is found and gives coloration to animals. That buzzer has rung a great first half here. Berwyn Heights at 85, North U 115. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with us, and thank you for spending this season with us. It has been a wonderful year here, our 24th here in the Prince George's County Public Schools Television Channel, 96 and 38. Let's go over and find out a little bit more about our players. Let's go first to Berwyn Heights and Megan. You guys continue to dazzle. Tell us about your school. Um, our school does a lot of creative arts program, and we have a lot of science programs. Absolutely. And I know your principal there. Who is your principal? Dr. Karen Singer. Yes, indeed. She is a great advocate of music and education. And I know that so many of the young people at Berwyn Heights are musically talented. Now, your school has been uh, reopened now for just a few years, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And But they preserve part of the old school, so it's good that they had some history there. In addition to Dr. Singer, the sponsor of your team is? Mr. Goldstein. Mr. Goldstein. And his son, in fact, is one of the alternates, Sam. Who are the other alternates? Uh, Tierra, Draper, Jack Burton, Powell, Jan Knudsen. That's right. Now, I'll be out in just a few moments with Mr. Goldstein, and you'll be able to meet them because they've been practicing throughout the year for all of their appearances here on Science Bowl. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Megan. Uh, we were talking earlier about origami, which seems to be all the rage now among young people. You dabble a little bit in origami, don't you? Mm -hmm. Tell people what that is. Um, it's where you take paper and you fold it and you can make different things from it, but you can also like cut it and glue it. Yeah, it's a real creative thing, isn't it? This young lady likes to cook. You're interested in fashion and cosmetology, and uh, you're certainly just a, a whip-smart science student over there, too. Nice to have you back. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Angel, nice to have you here, too. Tell us a little bit about what you do in your spare time. I like doing origami too. I go down to the lake on my bike 
just Wonderful. go around for a while. Is that Lake Artemisia? Yeah. Isn't that a great lake down there and a nice trail they have? And you can watch the metro trains come and go. A lot of bird life on that lake, too. What do you hope to do someday? I want to be a family doctor. Family doctor. That's wonderful. Does your family doctor now, is that person an inspiration for you? Yeah. Yeah, boy, that's the way it works in life. You never know who's watching you. And is it a man or a woman? A woman. A woman. I bet she'd be very proud to hear you say that. Keep up your good playing. Sean, nice to have you here today. Tell us about yourself. You're interested in so many different things, but you want to do something in technology. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I like to play video games, read origami, sports such as only soccer. Yeah. And you told me you'd like to go to the University of Maryland or Harvard. Is that right? Yeah. I like that. Aim for the top. Have high aspirations. You're a good player, too. Nice to have you here today. Northview, nice to have you guys back, as always. You always look so sharp over there in those matching lab coats. And uh, your sponsor, Mrs. Grove, you know, provided those for you. And she's out there in the wings cheering you on. Who's the principal at Northview? Um, our principal is Judith T. Visit, the reading queen of uh, Prince George's County. The reading queen, that's right. And you guys are so well read, and that's probably one of the reasons why you do so well on Science Bowl. Because you, and I like, Carlos, how attentive you are. You listen to my, our questions very, very carefully. Tell me any alternates on your team. We have Jacob, uh, Jacob Goldberg, and we have Brandon Vessels. Right, and we'll bring them out with Mrs. Grove in just a few moments. And tell us, Carlos, you know, appearances to the contrary. Are you, uh, you want to be a, a, a lab technician or a doctor someday? Because you look the part already. I want to be a doctor a someday. Doc Wonderful. Well, I can see you doing that, and you would be a very good one. Talon, what about you? What would you like to do someday? Um, I want to be a computer technician. Yeah, and I know you've been an alternate before, and it's nice to see you front and center on, on camera today. Uh, tell me why you got interested in the Science Bowl. Um, well, at first my, um, my teacher asked me if I wanted to go on to the Science Bowl, and I wasn't exactly sure. So I went there, and I took the test, and Miss Grove told me I had passed, and I had made it to the Science Bowl. Congratulations. Well, you obviously impressed her and you're impressing us today as well. Isaiah, I know you and Carlos both have an interest in paleontology. And I know we were talking last time about the dinosaur remnants that they found out in Beltsville at that new park that they set up. Have you had a chance to visit that as yet? Uh, no, I keep trying to convince my mom to take me there. But <laughs> well, you know, it's been a rough winter. You know, everything's been under snow, so maybe now that the weather's better, she'll, she'll give in. Tell me how you got interested in paleontology. Uh, when I, when I first read books, uh, norm, most of them were about dinosaurs and finding fossils. So I, I've been studying dinosaurs for a long time now. And you know, studying dinosaurs, it's great because it just, you, you wish you could live back then and see them, but it's great too about learning vocabulary. Diplodocus and Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus. You pick those words apart and you say, oh, I, now I know what those mean. They're very helpful that way. All right, let's get back to our game. Northview 115, Berwyn Heights 85. Lots of high value questions yet to go. Let's start with Northview. You gave us the last correct answer. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, a pulmonary embolism often is a clot that starts in the leg, breaks free, and ends up in what organ? Berwyn Heights. Your heart? Not your heart. Nope. A pulmonary embolism oftentimes starts in the leg. That clot breaks free and ends up where, Northview? In the stomach. In the lung. The lung. The word pulmonary refers to lungs. Try again. Green. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, on a thermometer, whether it's filled with mercury or alcohol, it, is, it fills a very tiny tube that has the same name as the smallest of your blood vessels. Northview. Capillary. capillary. There's a capillary tube in a thermometer, and that expanding and contraction of that liquid moves up that tube very easily. Green. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, President Obama had a physical re recently. They told him, stop smoking. And since his LDL was 138, which was above average, they told him to cut back on this kind of fat in his diet. Berwyn Heights. Me. Not meat. No, what kind of specific fat now was President Obama told to cut back on because his LDL was above average? Oh, what's LDL? Um, 
Carbohydrates? Good try. Cholesterol. Cholesterol. His cholesterol was too high. LDL and HDL, the two the d d versions of cholesterol. Try again. Green. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, in America, the agency that monitors everything we consume is known as the FDA. What are the F and D in this administration? F and D. Megan. Yes, ma'am. Federal Digestive. Federal Digestive. I, that's a very interesting title. I like that. That's not what we're looking for. Everything that we consume in this country is under the auspices of the FDA. The FDA, A is the administration. What do the F and the D stand for? Food and drugs. Food, food and drugs. That's exactly right. You can consume drugs and you consume food. Good comeback. Green. Body systems for 25, please. Body systems for 25 points. Team, some doctors now say that certain fruit juices, like orange juice and cranberry juice, can prevent the formation of renal calculi, which are Berwyn Heights. Kidney failure. Again? Kidney failure. Judges. Yes. We're, the key word was kidney there. The renal, actually kidney stones are what the calculi are. Go. Berwyn Heights. Dateline uh, signs for five, please. Again? Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, lizards have ears, but it's very interesting. They use them for eavesdropping because lizards don't vocalize. Northview? Um, because I think I did. Um, because, uh, uh... Carlos, I think you're heading down the wrong path there. Berwyn Heights, lizards have ears, but they use them, scientists have determined, for eavesdropping because they don't vocalize, with one exception. One of those kinds of lizards that we see on TV all the time, pitching car insurance. Geckos. Geckos, they do vocalize. They're the only lizards that make a sound. Red. Size potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, Miley Cyrus and Taylor Lautner and all of these other young starlets that have had very quick rises in Hollywood are often described by this M-initialed astronomical term for a shooting star. Berwyn Heights. Meteorologist. Not meteorologist, no. Northview, what M-initialed term is another term for a shooting star to des describe the rise of these young Hollywood starlets? Meteor. Meteor is exactly right. Meteor, meteoric is the uh, descriptor that we're looking for. Green. Uh, let's get physical for 25, please. Let's get physical for 25, the big one in that category. Teams, we all know that levers help us to do work that we couldn't do otherwise. So the number of pounds that a lever can lift is referred to as the MA for you. It's mechanical what? What does the A stand for in MA when you grade a lever? All right, what do we think, Megan? Air. Me, uh, mechanical air, no. M-A, since levers help us to do work we couldn't do without them, the number of pounds we can lift is known as the M-A. Mechanical what? Alignment. Good try, advantage, mechanical advantage. It gives you an advantage over what you couldn't have done otherwise. That was a tough question. Go green. Signs potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, multiple choice question. Which of the following is an example of anthropomorphism, teaching your cat to jump into your lap, burying your pet lizard, or dressing up your dog as a redskin. Northview. Dressing up your dog as a redskin? <laughs> Absolutely right. You're trying to give human type emotions to an animal. Good. Green. Uh, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, some farmers take their corn to factories where the sugar in the corn is fermented to make what kind of intox... Uh, Northview? Ethanol. Ethanol, absolutely right. What kind of intoxicating chemical that is joined with gasoline to make fuel? We were looking for alcohol, and ethanol was also acceptable to the judges. Green. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. President Obama would like to revive nuclear power, but we still depend on what other kind of power that is generated by dams. Northview. Hydro, hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity is what I want to hear. Yes, indeed. Carlos, go. Um, Dateline signs for 25. Dateline signs for 25 points, teams. Your question is as follows. I want to read you a quote first, and then I will ask the question. The quote is, he's going to kill a lot of babies by anoxia to test a wild idea.
Dr. Patz, a famous doctor, died recently, and he saved countless babies from going blind by cutting off excess amounts of this gas that were given to them when they were premature. Berwyn Heights, for 25 points, can you name that gas? Formula. Again? Formula. Form, not formula, no. What gas, and I preceded it with a quote, he is going to kill a lot of babies by anoxia by testing a wild idea. Babies were going blind, premature babies were going blind until Dr. Patz discovered that they were getting too much gas as premature babies. Uh, nitrogen? Oxygen, oxygen. Anoxia means not enough oxygen. Go. Uh, green, please. Super 8 for 25. Super 8 for 25 points, teams. Your question is as follows. Longevity studies show that arboreal animals live longer than subterranean ones. Meaning, two-part answer, animals that live where live longer than animals that live where? Northview. Um, animals that live on land live uh, longer than uh, animals living underground. Almost. Almost. Berwyn Heights. Arboreal animals live longer than those that are subterranean animals, meaning the animals that live where live longer than animals that live where? Animals that live on trees live longer than animals on ground. Underground. Uh, say it again. On Animals on trees live longer than animals underground. That's exactly right, yes. Animals on trees, those are arboreal animals. Subterranean animals, those underground. Red. Um, Dateline signs for 10, please. Dateline for 10 points, teams. Eileen Collins was the first female astronaut to command one of these kinds of spaceships that America is phasing out this year. Space yes, ma'am. Space shuttle. Space shuttles is right. Yes, good. Go. Green things for 15, please. Green things for 15 points, teams. Your question is as follows. Mangrove plants define, as no other plant does, Plants that are hydrophobes, meaning they can only grow how? Berwyn Heights. In swampy areas. In swampy areas in water. Yes, good. Red. Dateline signs for 15, please. Dateline for 15 points, teams. After the strong Chilean earthquake, what other consequence went across the ocean and threatened Hawaii? Berwyn Heights. Tsunami. Again? Tsunami. A tsunami, that's right. Two questions left. You choose. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Teams, in the movie Alice in Wonderland, the evil Red Queen plays croquet. Northview. Uh, yes, sir? Uh, um. Berwyn Heights in Alice in Wonderland, the evil Red Queen plays croquet by turning these pink birds upside down. Flamingos. Flamingos is right. We have one question left in our game. That's green things for 25. Let's check that score. Oh, boy, is it close. Berwyn Heights, 195. Northview, 225. It looks like you've done it. Let's play this last question. Green things for 25 points. Here it is. Team, some flowers can generate heat by using the yeast inside of themselves to, to change over this sweet liquid in the flower. Megan. Nectar. Nectar is exactly right, and it looks like just by five points, Northview is our first finalist. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back. You know, it was one of the most nail-biting episodes ever. Came down to the very last question. Just five points separate our two winning teams here today because they are indeed all winners. Our finalists, though, look at that score. Berwyn Heights 220, Northview 225. The guys in the lab coats, congratulations. You're going on to the finals. Let's give them a hand. Super job over there. And we are going to introduce our Wonderful Miss Grove over there. I know how proud she is of her team. And the other alternates there, we've got Jacob Goldberg and Brandon Vessels. And, yeah, nice to have you here, sir. And on the Berwyn Heights team, let's see some smiles over here. You came back there at the end. You almost had them, Sean and Megan and Solinger. Mr. Goldstein, thank you for all you did. Sam, wave to everybody out there. Who else we have over there? We've got Jack and Tira and Jan. What great teams, and all of our players, since they made it to the semifinals, are taking him Audubon Field Guides, a small token of our esteem for some of Prince George's best students. We'll see you next time in the next semifinal and the elementary finals. We'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.